Hi, this is Wayne, Jimmy Zero BVJ, with another video of the uh, Zigu uh, GSOC Universal Controller and Data Terminal. Uh, I must remind you that uh, this is actually a pre-production uh, version, uh, so it's not uh, not quite fully featured. Uh, that will uh, that will be done uh, over the next uh, few weeks or so. Uh, what I've uh, seen of it so far, it's been uh, it's been pretty good. But I have to apologise for the lighting on here uh, with such a big display and what have you, and having to have the lights on in the room, it uh, it doesn't help matters. But we'll uh, we'll try and uh, see what we can do. Right, first of all, uh, I'll show you on the left hand side here, as you'll as you'll note there. There are two USB ports, USB 1, USB 2. Now you can have either uh, mouse or keyboard plugged into them, or the option to use uh, a Bluetooth dongle for uh, maybe wireless keyboard and mouse. And there's also uh, a micro uh, SD card slot there for uh, recording straight from the uh, the radio to, uh, to memory card. Uh, so, right. Uh, on the other side, we have the, uh, the IF out there, microphone, and uh, the DC uh, power lead. Uh, let me go to the back, as you'll see on here. Speak, speaker headphone, I think. Uh, I, that's for uh, firmware updates and uh, the uh, the nine pin serial there uh, to uh, to connect it to the. Uh, G90 itself right <clears throat> so what I'm going to do I'm going to plug the keyboard and mouse in and then uh, it makes it easier going through the menus and whatever then oh, we'll put the uh, is that the keyboard nope that's the uh, the mouse oh, let's plug that one in here and there we go we're in business now if uh, I don't know where you can see there but can you see uh, there's a there's a little pointer there let's see if we can get a little bit uh, better come on right so yeah you can use the uh, the mouse and keyboard the uh, keyboard obviously for uh, doing PSK 31 and uh, and no doubt uh, other uh, data modes too will be added but uh, as an instance you can uh, click on there and you can actually change the uh, using the, uh, the thumb wheel on the mouse the uh, the volume is a little bit uh, low on this particular uh, model uh, but apparently they uh, they are ch uh, putting a better speaker in it uh, for the uh, full production version uh, you've got uh, VFOA VFOB there but they are also uh, touch screen as well, so you can do it. Uh, you can do it with the uh, with the touch screen you know, on the various uh, digits and what have you there. Uh, also, here's a neat little thing. If you click on the uh, the timer, you have. Uh, let's see if I can. Ah, this the lighting in there is terrible. Yeah, no, sorry about that, but uh, I'll try and get, uh... well there, it's, uh, it's a mouse, uh, a calendar, let's see if I, that is the only problem using uh, cameras and uh, with uh, with displays and what have you, there's, uh, there's no contrast on the display at the moment, uh, you know, so we can turn it down, uh, that will be, uh, We'll mention that and maybe get it added in uh, in a firmware. Uh, so we'll close there. But that's how you set your uh, your time and date. Now you've got uh, colour there, uh, adjustable colour. Do you know to what colour uh, you want? If you move it down and then click OK, if you notice there at the top of the bar, uh, it changes colour. If I turn that down all the way down. Put it up to red. Click red. It's red. Uh, 
I also what I also got with that did yep. The level there increases and decreases. Uh, going to system, we've got line out, line in, mic gain, and adjust it like that, like that. So, so having the mouse doesn't half make it uh, a doddle to use this. All your uh, CW options there. Uh, Kia, Kia speed up and down again mic gain up I've set mine on about uh, 15 then you've got your line in level your line out level and then to uh, to reset them to factory and then uh, that's your uh, exit button uh, yeah, on some of the what they have added, and I asked them uh, when this when this first was there, you know, in development and what have you. I asked them if they if we could have a an optical link optical encoder on this, uh, as opposed to the uh, mechanical click 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 like you have on the uh, on the X five one hundred five and the uh, the display for the G ninety itself. Uh, so uh, we now have an optical encoder, so there's no click click click. Brilliant. Why? Why? <laughs> I would have liked it on the uh, the G ninety and the X one hundred and five, but you know it is what it is. Uh, you've got your ATU. Uh, you your power. And then out. Uh, and this one is for your, uh, you know, to shift your uh, your RIT. There, uh, oh come on, there we go. Now these uh, these buttons here, uh, which uh, a user and they're, they're not functioning on here but like i said in the beginning this isn't uh you know a full uh situation. yeah it's not a full uh version that like i said there's, there's quite a bit of the function on here that uh, i'm missing and obviously menus and but we are working with them to you know get to uh, what we come across uh, resolved and right uh, okay. yeah so these uh user buttons are obviously uh, going to be so you can you know set your uh, your most used settings uh, to one of these here uh, you've got your bandwidth uh, you filter So you've got your uh, your low and high cut there. Again, this is a vol. I mean, this is at full volume, but uh, he has said uh, when I brought it up with him straight away, I said the uh, the volume level is way too low, and that's basically when he when he said the uh, the speaker is going to be changed. Uh, going to put a slightly bigger one in, uh, I think. On here, again your volume, but uh, this one here. 
I think that works in that uh, squelch works in uh, data mode. Right, uh, go to the modem. Now this is where I think where you can do your uh, sending uh, of what you might call it uh, PSK31. So I'll just go C CQ test CQ. Oh, yep. CQ. One finger typing. Right, that's it. I'll put it on there. Uh, and now I'm going to hit send. And that's it. Uh, on the other side here is your receive message. So I don't add. I had a tune around earlier. Uh, I think there's contesting on this afternoon. Let's try. What would be nice to see to be seen there instead of seven uh, M, you know, ten. 10, uh, 7 makes 10 makes 14 better it would be better to have the uh, like you know you you want 60 you're uh, you're 80 you know, 10 14 uh instead of uh, the uh, the megs uh, uh you've got the features here your preamp your attenuator you've got your automatic gain control auto off and slow your mode and you've got NFM uh, narrowband FM OSB USB CW look well CWL lower sideband CWU upper sideband AM FM OSB USB then you've got your splits as well, so you can work. Uh, you can work splits. You've got your uh, VFO memory. I have nothing programmed in the memory channel. And then you've got the Meadow M editor there, so uh, you can uh, what do we call it? You can uh, put your own messages in there. Uh, not messages, sorry. Uh, you can label, uh, you know, your channel numbers and what have you. But uh, as it is. It's not, uh, yeah, as I say, not not every feature is uh, enabled on this at the moment, unfortunately. So it'll come out of there, come out of there. And then uh, to come out of uh, this mode, a little tick cross in the corner there. Click that and you're out of it. Uh, but yeah, I've had, uh, I've had some uh, great fun having a look around this. And, uh, but I'll tell, I'll tell you what we did discover. Now this is a biggie if uh, it's going to be introduced. And it does work. But if I click on here. If you look there, I don't know whether you can see that. Uh, You've actually got six meters. There you go. Now that this is that was a surprise. The uh, the G ninety was uh, one hundred and sixty two uh, ten meters, or it, it it still is without this uh, controller on it. So yeah, there's the bonus. Right. So with that, I'll say uh, seven three, uh, and. Uh, I'll uh, I'll do some more videos coming uh, over the coming days and what have you and uh, 
you know, that was just a brief and uh, <laughs> unedited, uh, what do you call it, to uh, play with the uh, the G-Sock con uh, controller there. I wish you 7-3. Uh, hold on, before I do, if you have any questions or uh, you want to know anything, uh, please do ask me. Uh, Ziga were closed for the uh, for the next uh, week, uh, but we still do have uh, direct uh, access there to our friend in the uh, research and uh, development uh, department. So uh, I, I don't mind. I don't think he'd mind if uh, if we ask him one or two questions. Oh, okay. Again, with that, I wish you seven three. Bye bye.